through the transition you'll understand that time and space are one and the same and everything is really only an experience it's all just an experience so what heaven is is a state of being and it is an experience it is a feeling and whatever you your soul feels that it wants and needs to do for you to produce this blissful and amazing feeling for you is what will create that experience for you of heaven making everybody's own heaven personalized to their soul which is why it's perfect yo what you been on hey just wanted to let you know that what i'm about to explain is the most basic of understanding of this process and it's actually a whole lot deeper Anyways, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you learn something new. Look, man, I'm finna tell y'all how to get into heaven. All right, this it gets no better than this. This is golden information. And if you're not religious and if you don't want to listen to the Bible, that's cool too because we're using science, energy, all that stuff. Realize this. Every second of every day, you are preparing yourself to go into your afterlife. No one knows when it's the time to go. It could be today, tomorrow, at any instant, it can be over. But that is not to be scary, but that is to make you know that preparation for the afterlife is needed. A shift in a change like this that your soul is about to go through the transitioning experience it requires preparation you must know that every second of every day all of the energy that you put out is forever connected to you because of your energetic and spiritual signature each and every one of us has a energetic or spiritual signature and the energy that we put out has our energetic signature over it so with that being said it's all being collected and recalled by us everything that we feel that we have done wrong or that we regret that energy will stay with us and we will know what we will have to deal with and if we go into our next life or our afterlife holding that energy we will have to deal with it there so why not use this chance now to deal with it here all right stay with me if you are trying to go into heaven and leave in a good spot and be joyous and not scared with what you call death or this transitioning experience but actually excited because you feel that you have fulfilled your missions here you have to fulfill your missions you have to really be on a spiritual journey and know yourself and understand this is not something that is easy or simple you have to pass your test as a human on earth this being that you have manifested into to learn certain things through different trials and tribulations so that your spirit may evolve your spiritual growth maturity and evolution is reliant on you fulfilling your life missions once you know yourself and understand yourself and understand what you were here to do and understand what you were put here for and to serve your life's purpose that is when you start really evolving and the energy that you put out becomes more positive than negative all right grudges. you can't have any grudges on anyone trying to go into heaven you hold that energy you have to be very light in the spirit and in the heart you have to be very light-hearted you can't 
have any regrets that you feel like you could have aired out. You can't carry these this attachment to energy with you. You have to be very lighthearted. You have to be a very light soul to go directly from this transition into what you call heaven. Which is not a place. Many may think of heaven as a three-dimensional experience because that's all they have to reference from. From their experience where it's clouds and it's just awesome and amazing. You call it bliss. Everything you want to happen is going on and you only want righteous and good things to happen and everything is great and perfect and all of that. Many may only be able to perceive that as a three-dimensional experience, but through the transition you'll understand that time and space are one and the same and everything is really only an experience. It's all just an experience. So what heaven is, is a state of being. And it is an experience. It is a feeling. And whatever you, your soul feels that it wants and needs to do for you to produce this blissful and amazing feeling for you is what will create that experience for you of heaven. Making everybody's own heaven personalized to their soul, which is why it's perfect. Now, I'll just explain heaven to you, alright? It's a state of being. The same thing goes for hell. It's a state of being as well, in which you, your soul, has all of this negative energy that you have came with, that you have all these grudges and regrets and you are really punishing yourself you really feel that you don't deserve a good afterlife you have so many things to deal with your angels left you you didn't serve any of your life's missions you did more negative than good all that is gonna weigh on your soul all that energy still has your signature on it and it's gonna attach to you and that's what's gonna make you experience that hell in our third dimensional perception, we have to perceive it as something that is, is close to what we can reference from. So, we say hell is burning on fire for forever. That's only something to take reference from. If that's the case, you can experience something like that here. There are people who have burned in fires. But... For you to think that that point of reference three-dimensionally is the exact same. No, it is a state of being. How can hell be full of fire, but also be darkness at the same time? The kind of metaphors. You got to understand. You got you to gotta take the information that you know and look at it at a point of energy itself now most people won't be able to get into heaven and this is only because their spirit isn't evolved enough and mature enough and at the point where it wants to be for it to feel that it deserves that blissfulness you are really in control of your experience you manifest the reality before you so the reality that you manifest before you is you and your soul always going with the divine law and rightness because God is within you. So when God judges you, that is the God within you that is judging you because it is always with you, telling you and giving you these feelings through your chakras which is actually energy giving you these energy signals letting you know that this is wrong and this is right it is within you the answers are within you you can't hide from God because God is within you he's already he's always there you can't run away you see everything that you're doing you might forget it in your brain 
but your soul won't forget. It takes all of that experience and spiritually grows. Now, if you are not to make it into heaven, that's okay. Life goes on. You deal with that energy in the afterlife, however that may be for you. Whatever experience that you must manifest for yourself to give yourself what you feel truly is what you deserve. And then after you've gone through this experience, you will spiritually evolve and you will manifest into another being for however long it takes for you to go through however much experience it, you need to go through to satisfy your soul. Then, after that is over, after your experience is over with, your soul will be more spiritually evolved because of the experience, which is the only reason you have to endure it in the first place is for betterment. You will be given another chance, another chance at life. You will be more spiritually developed this time, which will make it easier for you to have understanding and vibrate higher as you are growing up. Therefore, making it easier to transition into this heaven experience. Some of us spiritually grow a lot faster than others at younger ages only because our souls are older than others and we just don't know it. Our souls have experienced certain things before. Our souls have been here before. Our souls have been spiritually evolved. It can come here and have a better chance at being a better being and a better chance at transitioning into that heaven state in the afterlife. Now this is only part of winning because the tippity top of vibration is wholeness which is when you become a part of the whole God energy which is everything and then eventually have to break off into a new consciousness. Alright man, I done said a lot of stuff. That's a whole lot to absorb. I'm uh, hoping you watching this back a few times to really absorb all the information that you have been downloaded into your consciousness. And I'll see you next time.